for reserve for the basin. So there's a basin under there. So if we want to okay. pressurize that, if we're not and hook, hooked up anywhere, we can have this on. But if we're hooked up to the faucet, this is for the faucet. So when I'm cooking and washing dishes and washing my hands, I use that, right? Well, whichever, if we're not actually traveling, if we're not camp somewhere, there's no hose. Oh. Then we use this oh, one. Oh, I see. Basin. It's a backup. Yeah. Okay, I get it. I get yeah. it. There's just two connections. Okay. This is true vintage from Mama with lots of storage in here. We're going to put more flooring down there and keep our things down there. Um, this is the true vintage countertop. It's kind of hard to see on here, but it's kind of marbled and it has like little pink spots in it which I love. Um, these curtains are true vintage. I got them off of eBay and I actually had to cut and finagle them and sew them. Not too well, but it did the job and I'm happy with them because <laughs> they're old and cute. And then up here we have more cabinets. So just like the other side, I'm going to put this one back down and then show how it goes up. So more storage and I'm going to put all of our cookware up here. So we lift it up. And then I got vintage Tupperware, the cute like bowls from the 60s, all the old Tupperware for picnics, another original light that was here in the camper. We got a reproduction Frigidaire, refrigerator, I couldn't think of the word. It has a freezer. Yeah, and it has a freezer with tiny little baby ice cube trays. I have it off because I don't like it sucking energy. But before, this wasn't originally here, so in this spot there would be a stove. And the stoves are really hard to find, and if you find them, they're very expensive. So that's why we compensated and we got this little burner instead because I, you know, I thought that would do the job. And we'll eat sandwiches and campy foods, and I don't need a whole stove in here. So we replaced it with this cute refrigerator instead. And that's a little kitchen area, so let me back up the kitchen so kitchen right here as soon as you walk in and then to the right of it is where you sit and eat the roof was all uh all oh, right redone yep we we uh actually just it is the original it. It, yeah it's the, it's original. the original we sanded it and put some varnish on it yeah we stained it to make it a little bit darker and these are our seating areas. I'm trying to fill the space with vintage pillows or pillows that match and have it cozy. And now we'll show you, you know. So past the kitchen, you see who's there? Abby. So there's like a little step right here. You go step up and that's our cozy lounge area or our, what is it? Master bedroom or <laughs> the bigger bed area for later. So you go through here, next to the fridge, and there's this like U-shaped, what would you call this? The lounge oh, area, yeah. right? But we made all of this. So Paul had to make all of the wood that's under here. And they're actually, what would you call that? I don't know what to call the base. We had to build, we had to build a new frame. We had to build new supports. A new what? A new frame, a new supports. All of the wood is completely new. This whole area was whole the bed. most work. It was yes. all rotted in the back. And then you put the air conditioner over here. How do you move your lights? So you have a switch and you have a The light switches. Here. Right. So when you flick that switch, the air conditioner goes off. Right? Yeah. Okay. So these are cushions. We got the cushions and then we reupholstered them with some pink gingham. We hung our curtains and all of these pillows are vintage vintage pillows for our backs we got some vintage magazines for light fun reading and uh, funny pillows because we're crazy nuts <laughs> we got deers and animals and all the cute things from the 50s through the 70s this is a true vintage pastel blanket got our pillows and a little nook and then after our little nook this is where the little refrigerator would have been. But we made it our little game night area. So we have all vintage games, vintage magazines, Scooby-Doo, little quirky fun things, and then more storage. We have another cabinet for our linens and bedding.
Christmas things that will come out eventually. And this big one over here has a rod up here, so we're going to hang our coats, put our shoes. This is our little mud room, I guess. And it has the original, well, it had the original layout plan over here. Just the remnants. Let me close it up. Original handles. And if I come sit over here, I'll be staring at <laughs> my loves. So you can kind of get an idea of the layout. And we'll pan out. It's 13 feet long. 13 feet. Just as tall as Paul Dunn. Over here. So this is where Paul and I will sleep. This will come out. Let's show. Okay. So first, you gotta get the bar. We gotta all get right, so the this bar. is all invented. Let's, hey, let's start another video. Ready? Okay. Okay, ready? Say goodbye. And now goodbye. it's going to be cozy night time. Cozy.